Hello and welcome back to Project Supercar. Now, if you're new to my channel, I want to take this 2.7 twin turbo V6 out of this Audi and put it in my DIY supercar. And today, we're going to carry on stripping the wiring loom. Now before I can pull this engine out, I've got to remove all the wiring and the hoses and whatnot. Now originally I was thinking about lowering the engine down onto the subframe, in other words lifting the body up, but there is an issue, it looks like the uh, turbo piping won't clear the side rails. I'll uh, bring the camera in and show you. Right, my idea was to actually have the uh, engine stay on the subframe, put some sort of uh, blocks or something underneath the subframe, and then lift the body off. But if we take a closer look at these pipings, this is the turbo pipe, it's not going to clear. Now, I could take the pipes off, it's not a problem, but as we start looking down the sides, it's really tight. Let's take a look at on the other side. Same issue with the turbo pipe. Again, I could remove it, but I don't really want to do that until the engine is actually out of the car. Again, it's really tight in there. So, I'm going to have a rethink. So I think what we'll do is we'll just carry on stripping the wiring loom and we'll consider pulling the engine later in another episode. So before the engine can come out, I think I'm going to have to carry on removing this wiring loom in here. Now, this one in here, I don't know if you can quite make it out, don't worry, I'll bring the camera in in a sec. It appears it uh, bolts to the alternator deep inside the engine here. So I think what I'll do, I'll jack the car up, see if I can get underneath and trace where this loom actually goes. Before I can undo the loom to the alternator, we've got a few uh, pipes and hoses in the way. So the intercooler pipe, this, this here, I think, we'll pull this off and the air con lines will remove these as well. You see, it's a little bit more difficult stripping this car down because I've got to keep thinking about where to put the camera so you lot can see what I'm doing. I'll just remove this intercooler pipe there's a Jubilee clip here, and this should give me a little bit more access to the air conditioning lines here. I'll just remove the intercooler pipe from the other side of the engine there's a Jubilee clip just tucked there. Well, I was planning on removing these air con lines. They run underneath the engine, just to get them out of the way. But I've hit a snag. If we follow the air con lines, you'll notice they pass under the engine. Actually, underneath the sump. And they go all the way across. into there 
I'm hoping you can make this out. But there's one Allen head bolt there to undo the first line. And then there's a second one, which is about here. Except that is the exhaust manifold and I can't get an allen key in there to undo this. So it looks like you have to remove the pump to actually get to those allen bolts to remove the lines and I don't really want to do that now. I don't really want to be stripping this engine down until it's out of the car. So I'm going to leave these lines for now and we'll get back to this wiring loom on the other side. There's a sensor that fits into the sump here and then this line goes up into the loom. So we'll just uh, remove that now. Just remove this earth line here and this will give me access to this connector on the back of the alternator and that just simply bolts to the chassis which is there I'm just going to remove this water hose, get it out of the way. Ugh. Yeah, there's some grime on this engine. Okay, this is getting a little annoying now. I want to remove this line, it looks like uh, the main 12 volts to the alternator. And here's the alternator, but can I get a ratchet in there to undo that nut? I can't even feel it. I might actually have to pull the alternator off so I can get to the nut to undo the line. That's a pain. bolted the alternator from the engine so now I can get to that nut and remove this cable. If we take a look inside that looks like the starter motor and that is going to be an absolute nightmare to replace. So the starter motor and the alternator have been unbolted. 
there's just a hose clamp down there with a hose clamp. I'll undo that, undo this, and this cable should then be able to be pulled away. To get this hose clamp off so I can remove this cable, I've got to undo this Allen bolt underneath the sump, which is, let's see it, there, just where the tip of my screwdriver is, so you've got to undo that one there. Actually, it's a bolt behind that bolt I pointed to with my screwdriver, and you can't get to it. It's insane. I don't know what Audi was thinking about, but oh my god, this is a pain to get to. Let's see if I can try and show you. Right up in there, I've had to make a special tool with like a, a spanner and a uh, Allen bolt tool bit and some tape. And hopefully I can undo it. Insane, it really is. Well, I'm not going to tell you how long that took, but this uh, rubber clip is finally off and this loom is finally removed from the engine. <sighs> Audi, what are you thinking? <sighs> I think I might have another go at this air conditioning pump. Now, I'm going to undo a couple of bolts in there and I think I might be able to drop it down so I can undo these hoses. Uh, but it's pretty tight in there. Here's what I mean. If I undo this bolt there, and then there's another one there, then this might just be able to drop down enough so I can undo these two Allen bolts and then remove these aircon lines and then remove the entire lines from under the car. That's the plan anyway. No, that didn't work. I undid those two bolts and it's not shifting. I think there's a third bolt at the back which I just can't get to. I'll just put the alternator back in and uh, get back to the wiring I think. Just get this loom out, undo these plastic pegs here, and it should all come undone up to about here. Just undo these uh, clips here, so I should be able to remove this cable that passes through the bulkhead and underneath these connectors.
Whew. After all that messing about, this wiring loom on this side of the engine is finally removed. Now it's a bit tight down there and I really want to be disconnecting all those connectors once the engine is removed so I can get the camera in and show you everything. So I think that'll do on this loom. I'm just going to clean these up, tag them up so I know where everything goes and then put them away safe. And I think what I'll do is I'll just remove that just because it's been bugging me. I just want to remove this pollen filter. I think it's bust anyway. So, well, there's the filter. No good. And it looks like there's three nuts in there and then this plastic tray should lift out. back out. I think I might be able to remove these brackets here which is part of the strut brace. Yeah and this one down here. So I think I'll undo those, get them out of the way. A couple of 16mm bolts. twin turbo front strut brace and this should go on eBay all right I'm not gonna get much for this but I might get a drink out of it anyway time's getting on and the kids over there are screaming their heads off and um, I'm covered in grit and grime and all that sort of stuff and I could do with some bacon so I'm gonna call it a day I'm gonna vac out that rubbish there I'll clean up these um, lines label them up and I think that will do. So I will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.